All right, everybody. Good day. Good welcome. Welcome to the start of the school year. It's great to meet all of you, sort of. Uh, welcome to the 2020 school year. I'm Christopher Berg. I'll be your host for today. I'm part of the CSA and FLIP. Um, first off, right off the bat, we owe you guys a huge apology for today. We were supposed to have an awesome event at school with food trucks and a DJ. Sadly, because of the weather and the uncertainty regarding the weather, we had to cancel that for your safety. But don't worry, we'll have plenty of opportunities to get ourselves back on course, build a school community, and have tons of fun. <laughs> so, as you all know, you're on Zoom, which means that there are some guidelines. First, you're all gonna be muted, please. Very important. We'd like for you all to have your camera on so we can see all your beautiful faces. You know, we're missing a bit of social interaction here. I really, I mean, I really want to see all your faces, but I mean, you can't really do that. So please keep your camera on for us. Um, on a side note on that though, this will be recorded. So if you're not comfortable with that, turn your camera off, but keep it on for us, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, also, if every guys have any questions anytime during the forum, or at the end during the question period, type them out in the group in the chat box. That way we'll receive your questions and we can answer them properly and everybody can ask their questions and uh, it'll run a lot more smooth. Okay, so, but I guess we'll get started right away. So I'm now gonna introduce some of the college staff who are gonna say a few words for you all. Uh, again, hopefully everything runs smoothly. And uh, there's no problems with your connection. I'm sure we'll get it done. First off, everybody, we got Don Schuen, the campus director and director of studies. Give a big round of applause for Don, guys. Technology. Um, thank you. Before I say anything, I. I want to say thank you to the Champlain Student Association for all the work you've done. Today kind of sucks that you've worked so hard, did so many things, and it didn't come off exactly as planned, and yet you're still here, you're still making it happen. And I think we need um, both the administration and all of your fellow students to acknowledge what you do, not just today, but throughout the year. Um, I had the privilege of working with Quite a few years of student government and um, just to take last year's as an example, an extraordinary group is set the mark very high, so I leave you a challenge. I want to say thank you to the team in student services um, who worked tirelessly to pull off a um, student orientation in a unique sort of a way, one that we've never done before. One that I hope moves us to a space where we encourage people to be engaged. Engaged in their learning, engaged in the life of the community at Champlain, engaged with each other, because these are tough times. And I don't know anybody who can do it all by themselves. I don't know anybody, I'd like to meet them, who's that good, that talented, that there's never gonna be a moment where they go, gee, I could use a hand. And that's where the rest of you come in. But if you're engaged in a community, your chances of having that happen are so much greater. If you're engaged, your chances of finishing your schooling, your chances of succeeding are way higher than if you just sit back and go, oh, this is it. It's not. This is what we have to deal with. We're gonna make the best of it and we're going to work it out. I would ask you, all of you new students, to remember this. We don't have any mind readers at Champlain. We've got an awful lot of dedicated people, but there's none of them who do telepathy. If you need help, reach out. Don't wait. Don't wait and say, you know what? I know it's going to get better. I'll, I'll just let it slide. Don't. The people who work here want you to succeed. That's why we work here. We work here because we are so proud to attend graduations where people are all dressed up in that gorgeous blue and throw their hats in the air and you're thrilled. That's the crowning moment for us where you have culminated your studies and demonstrated your success. 
A couple more things, if I might, because Dean told me I could only speak for 20 minutes. Uh, that's exaggeration, actually. Um, and I'll give him a coronary if I start. The first is that I'd like you to think about some of the values that Champlain has. Because over the past year, if we look at how this world has been, it's a bit of a mess. Where people get killed for the color of their skin, where uh, people get attacked because of their gender, where bad things happen that shouldn't. And out of that, I think we need to remember three of the values that Champlain says it has. Respect, caring, and collaboration. I would ask you to remember, no, no, not just to remember them. I'd ask you to put them into action in what you do here. Because if we respect each other, we start to build a community that has worth, that has value. If we care for each other, we have a community that's going to succeed. And if we collaborate, we'll make it happen. But that doesn't mean one or two, and it doesn't mean the talking heads. It means all of the people, because we're all in it together. And so that's my request to you, is that you think about those things. First, that you remember that you need to be engaged. Second, that you need to reach out when you need help. And three, that you, you remember those values. They're not words, they're actions. And the moment they become that, we build a community that we all want to be part of, that we can all be proud of. So that's what I would ask you to do as of today and for every other day while you're here, and hopefully for a whole lot longer than that. I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible in two or three years, depending on your program at graduation, where you sit and listen to some long-winded fellow, oh wait, that's me, give a speech. But seriously, I really do look forward to seeing you there. Because that, that's why we all came to this place, you included. Have a great start to your year. I'm hopeful that sometime during the course of it, we'll all be back in the building together. In the meantime, we'll do everything we can to all stay safe so that that can become a reality. Thank you and best wishes. Welcome to Champlain. Woo! Thank you very much, Don, for those wise, wise words. Um, following up, we have Christian Brasso, who is Dean of Academic Organization, who will like to introduce himself and say a few words. We've got this. Thanks a lot. Uh, first, everybody, welcome to Champlain. Um, the circumstances under which we're welcoming, welcoming you to the college are not usual for anybody. Uh, been at Champlain for the past 20 years. Sometimes I like to say I've been in Champlain for the past 30 years because I was once a student, uh, like you were, like you are right now, sorry, uh, kind of living the same experiences as you. and and. Not to take too much time because uh, our dear leader took 90% of the time we were allotted uh, before we were able to speak, uh, but we're used to that. Um, a couple of things that I want to remind you, and that I draw that from my experience as a student. I'm not going to say here at Champlain because my colleague Dean would correct me on that. I was a student in Quebec City, not, not in St. Lambert. But the... The, the experience that the students live are the same here than in Quebec City, to be honest, and it all draws from what you have to bring to the table. Um, one thing that you always will have to remind from what Mr. Schuwen just mentioned is that we're not mind readers. We'd like to be, but we're not. If you need help, if you need anything, if you want to get involved, it has to come from you. Uh, and the more you do, trust me, the better your experience will be. Your, your time with us here is short. Unlike high school where you spent the past five years, you're only here with us for two, three years, sometimes four, not too many, but sometimes. But we want this to be as good as experience as possible. And for that, you have to put your own grain of salt in the recipe. And by doing so, you'll just make sure to bring your experience to Champlain, which will improve the college as you know it now. Once again, welcome on behalf of the Champlain community and 
have a safe and great, enjoyable ride. Thank you very much, Chris, Christian Rousseau. Now we have Anthony Singlis, who would like to say a few words. Anthony is a Dean of Faculty and Curriculum Development. You said that very well. <laughs> So guys, welcome. I'm going to be even briefer than um, my two esteemed colleagues. I just want to welcome you to the college. Some of you I know have seen the video featuring yours truly, where I wipe the screen. And I would like to keep the momentum going at that pace. I just want to share with you that I work with the faculty primarily. And uh, we are very open and receptive to getting your feedback and your guidance on how we could do things better. This is an exceptional semester. It's the first time we're fully online. And for you guys, it's an unusual first semester because normally you would be here on the campus. So we're gonna try to make it more interactive and more college-like so you get a semblance of what it means to be a Champlainer. Um, the only word of wisdom I'm going to give you is that you need to be a warrior, not a warrior, but a warrior when everything that you approach here. So things that bother you or bug you, do something about them. Um, seek out the help that you need, ask questions, send your teachers meals, they will respond, and take advantage of the rich resources that we have here at the college. We're all here to help you succeed. And we're also here to learn from you so we could be better. I wish you a most wonderful semester and welcome to Champlain. Thank you very much, Anthony Singlis. Uh, now we have Nicole Hashi, Coordinary of Library Services, who's going to come on and take words as well. <laughs> Hi, good, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Um, like everybody's saying, this is a little bit of a strange situation for us all. Um, I just wanted to um, reinforce what uh, everybody before me has said to the importance of reaching out and owning your own learning and owning your, your success. Um, often we get questions and we get students who reach out to the library staff for help and then they tell us that we're lifesavers and I go turn back and say the lifesaver is started with you. The, the fact that you reached out to start your to recognize that you needed help and reached out is the fact so you're your own lifesaver. Um, we may not have the library space open and available for you for study, but the materials are available. You'll find all kinds of instruction and information on the library website. You will be getting some formal instruction in your humanities course, Humanities 101. If before you have your session, you have research papers and you're, you feel that you're lost and confused, just reach out to us. There's a chat box on multiple websites and in Moodle we have an email address, we have an email, just go to the library website. We also have a Facebook page where you'll find tips and tricks and, and you can reach out to us there as well. Um, so just you're in, just like everybody said, just be engaged and reach out. Don't be shy to ask for help. Um, it could be daunting, you're home alone, but we're here to help you, we're here to support you. And so, you know, on behalf of Cornelia, Estelle, Sabrina, um, Anita, uh, Angela, and Marie, we wish you the best of luck and we're here to help you as best we can. And even if it, you have a question and it's not for the library, but you don't know who to turn to, we're the information people. So you can turn to us first and we will do the best we can to redirect you to where you need to go. So we wish you all the best and hopefully we'll be able to see you in our magnificent best hangout space we have and uh, hope to see you on campus soon. That's it. All right. Thank you very much, Ms. Hashi. Guys, library is really the best place in the school, honestly. Um, following, we have Isabelle Lacombe, Academic Advisor and Admissions Officer, who's going to speak. Isabelle, you're muted. <laughs> 
So again, I'm Isabella Calm, uh, speaking for the academic advising team. There's four advisors at Champlain. So myself, Dale Esperance, Kevin Thornhill, and Cynthia Richmond. So what does an academic advisor do? Well, simply to help you with anything relating to your program, your academics. If ever you have questions about your courses, about your program, about changing program, about um, you know, adding a class, reducing your course load, we are the person that you should be talking to. So we can easily be reached through Mio under Academic Advising, uh, and uh, we, you can find also our emails on the um, on Champlain uh, website. So again, I want to wish you a very good fall semester, and I'm very happy that you have chosen uh, Champlain uh, to, you know, as your session. Thank you very much. Um, following Dean Howie, the Director of Student Services. Thanks, uh, Chris. Um, I'm just going to be really, really short again. I want you to just look quickly behind me. Um, all those people, that's what orientation should look like. That's what it looked like last year. Um, and it's a little disappointing that we can't, we can't be doing that right now today in these times. But I'm going to flip things a little bit. People talked about what you needed to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you what we're going to do. I'm going to make a commitment to you today. And that, that commitment is, is that we're going to keep you up to date. We're going to inform you of things taking place in student services and in the college to ensure that you can get involved, engaged, and as Anthony mentioned, create the best college experience no matter what the conditions are. So I will assure you today that the activities and programs that take place in student services, and there's a wide range of them, some of them you're going to hear about today, um, and if not, I'm sure people will talk to you about them as we go on, that those will take place this year in some form or another, some of them live, person to person, some of them on the web. So my commitment to you today is that we're going to inform you or I am going to inform you and keep you up to date as to what is taking place. And I think some of you saw the video that I put out uh, last Friday. Um, I don't want to brag, but I think as Dave Persons mentioned to me this morning, it had the most amount of hits or views or whatever word we're supposed to use than all the other ones on the Champlain TV channel. So I want to thank for that. The other thing I want to point out is um, Anthony mentioned his screens that he was swiping and everything. I don't need bells and whistles. I have my good looks. So I'll just go on that. So anyways, with that, Chris, don't make any comments on my looks, okay? You got the microphone next. Don't make any comments on it. So, I was muted. Uh, <laughs> anyways, thanks everybody. And I'm sure and I hope we'll see you. And uh, if I don't hold to my commitment, please call me out on it. Thanks a lot. Have a good start to your semester. All right, Dean, thank you very much. We'll remember that. Um, following is Marie Pupo, the, the coordinator of Student Access Center, who's going to come up. Hi there. My name is Marie Pupo, as he just said. And uh, I'm a clinical neuropsychologist by training, but have also been working at Champlain College now for over 10 years as the Adapted Services Counselor. My goal as an adapted services counselor is to make sure students who live with a particular condition, whether it be a mental, a physical, a learning, a neurological or sensory problem, receive the added support they need to be able to appropriately focus on learning and succeeding their college studies. For example, students who have an attention deficit disorder, who struggle to focus and stay focused during exams while studying or doing any other activity that requires concentration, may receive support with note-taking and exams to make sure they can show what they can do when we cancel the impact of their ADHD on their success. We also offer one-to-one -one online support to help you develop the skills needed to be a successful college student. Basically, our goal in Adapted Services is to go beyond what is typically offered and when needed, think outside the box to find ways of adapting the learning process to your specific learning needs and find the best accommodations and support purposes for you. We want to be there for you, we want you to succeed, and we want to see you happy. So if you think our services are for you, or and you have not contacted us yet, please Mio Dina Tavares, I'll put her name here so you can see the name. Dina Tavares, she's our administrative support agent in the Student Access Center. So uh, on behalf of Sharon, the special education technician, Dina, 
the administrative support agent and myself, we wish you a great first college semester. Thank you very much. Following will be Vince Amato, the athletics director. Thanks, Chris. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to Champlain. Uh, as Dean mentioned, our goal is to try to provide as much engagement as possible for you uh, as incoming students so that you have uh, live the college experience. Um, so one of the areas where we're moving forward in, uh, albeit maybe in, in a different fashion, is in athletics and recreation. So we'll st we're still going to be running our, our 10 teams, uh, badminton, basketball, uh, men's and women's basketball, cross country running, flag football, football, uh, men's and women's soccer, men's and women's volleyball. So we're still going to be running our teams. Tryouts are in, in effect now. Uh, to get information on that, you can check out your meal accounts. All the information's up there. Um, and again, we're, we're, we're going to be running practices. We're going to be running. Uh, we're not sure if we're going with leagues or not yet, uh, but we will be providing student athletes and you the opportunity to participate and be a Cavalier for the upcoming year. Um, if you have any questions, any concerns, anything you'd like to know, reach out uh, to Scott O'Brien or I uh, through Mio or through Omnivox or through email or even giving a phone call the old fashioned way. Uh, so we wish you the best of luck. We hope to see you. Hopefully we'll be able to see you out a game or two uh, if we get playing and competing again this year. Uh, stay tuned. Check out our Facebook page and uh, on the website and uh, hopefully see you around. So take care and good luck for the year. Thank you, Vince. The Cavaliers are definitely a huge part of the school. Um, next up, I, the college social worker, will say a few words. Uh, I hope everyone can hear me. My name is Booney. I'm the social worker here at Champlain. Uh, so just to let you know a little bit about what I do, I work with a great team of psychologists, psychotherapists, guidance counselors. So we help uh, all our students with the me mental health and emotional support. Um, I would probably be do the one doing the intake. So that means I would meet you first to an assessment and find out what your needs are and uh, either follow you or refer you to the appropriate resource accordingly. Um, so you have any kind of issues with anxiety or stress, um, family issues, relationship issues, don't hesitate to reach out and contact us, especially now that um, we're all virtual, we're all online learning. Um, if things are heightened at home with, you know, stress and issues that arise that you find throughout the semester. Um, we're here to help answer those questions and get you the right support for that, okay? I also want to mention that um, I'm also responsible for the sexual violence prevention training that will be launching soon, hopefully within the next few days. Um, so in terms of that, we'll be offering a lot of support resources, um, whether that's gonna be online all online, I'm not sure, but we'll see how it looks like. Um, and it's hopefully will be interesting and engaging for you all. Um, we're also gonna look for really kind of new and creative ways to help you out for your emotional and mental health support. So whether that's kind of drop in chats and things like that, um, we'll build on something new and fun um, and get you the right support. So hopefully you guys can reach out to us if you ever need. Um, one of my, the students that we work closely with, Lorena, she's gonna be talking to you later on about uh, one of the groups that I work closely with, health and wellness. So if you wanna get involved and participate on campus, then health and wellness and mental health uh, groups and clubs, we're, we're, we're gonna be talking more about that later on in the, the Zoom, so thanks, Chris. Thank you, Booney. And finally, we have Sheila baron of Student Life, who's gonna come on. Very good, you said it really correctly. Good job, Chris. Um, so I'm Sheila, I am the Recreation Activities Technician for uh, the college. So basically, I'm here to help support um, you guys with any programming, events, activity ideas that you would like to host, either online, and as Dean mentioned uh, earlier, potentially in person. So we still want to be able to have an opportunity for you guys to meet each other face to face. We're just going to have to adapt and make it as safe as possible for everybody. So throughout this call today, um, you're going to gain um, some information about our amazing clubs and communities that we have at Champlain. Uh, there really is something for everyone. If there isn't and you're like, you know what, uh, it's kind of missing something, just contact me and uh, we will make it happen. 
Um, if you want to get involved, like I said, you can email me, Sheila Baron Caro, and I would like love to work with you guys um, in order to create a memorable, fun, and exciting semester at uh, Champlain for you all. So yeah, back to Chris. Thank you very much, Sheila. And that was your college staff who came on to say a few words. Um, it's very important. Well, it's a very good idea to get involved in school. I know it'll be a bit tough this semester. However, take it from people, people around me as well, uh, who did get involved. It makes your college experience way better. I found some amazing friends like these two people. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> now, following that, uh, we have a few student leaders who are gonna come on and say a few words. First off, we have Swang Wu, who is the coordinator of the Flip It Guide program and a member of Flip, who's gonna come on to explain her program. Swang, it's all yours. Perfect. Thank you, Chris. So, hi, my name is Swan. I am a third year student at Champlain. Uh, ever since I started, I completely like got involved everywhere. Honestly, it's going to make your CJEB experience so much more different when you interact with the whole community. So, I'll be talking on behalf of the FLIP group. The FLIP leadership group is it stands for the First Year Leadership and Integration Program. So it's a leadership group on campus that focuses on the integration of new students to the Champlain community. Um, under normal circumstances, we would uh, organize camping night and give basically opportunity for students uh, to make new friends and meet people from their um, same court. And basically, uh, we also have many different crews, um, all uh, student-led projects. For example, there's the multicultural crew um, that is a group of students that promote all the different cultures and they try to make everyone understand all these cultures better. Uh, there's also TEDx that came out of the FLIP program, uh, which is a TED talk group. Um, and for my part, I started uh, the Flip It Guide program, which is a program that will allow first years uh, to be uh, in a group with four other people from their program of study. And they would be paired with also uh, returning students, that is the guide. And basically they have their own group chat where uh, you can interact with everyone. So it's all, everyone is grouped according to their interest. And uh, all first year students in that group can ask any of their questions to the um, returning student, the guide, and hopefully it brings uh, the support you need and it will also allow you to meet with some new people um, that, what, that you usually would have seen on campus and hopefully they can become some of your best friends in the future even. Uh, so we're gonna put a second sign up wave uh, starting either today or tomorrow. So look out for Mio's and uh, check out the sign, the online form registration section of your Omnibox. Um, and other than that, um, part of the Flip It program is also a learning strategy workshop where we will be offering you different workshop with uh, special learning strategies specialist who will give you tips and tricks about how to be a better uh, an active student active student sorry and different tips and tricks on uh, writing strategies reading strategies note-taking strategies so look forward to that thank you very much Swan um, next we have Deborah Palomino who's gonna come on and talk about the mental health crew and mental health Thanks, Chris. So um, I'm a psychologist in student services, and um, I work with a group of students who are part of the mental health crew. And so this group um, have a vested interest in mental health. And so for many, um, some of them might be wanting to pursue professions relating to the field. And for others, it's personal, whether it's a personal experience themselves or family and friends. And so what we do is we, we have a group of students who again want to promote mental health awareness, who want to provide resources and just really a community in order to um, improve um, mental health among our community um, and particularly among students. Um, so yeah, so we organize and run activities and students can really bring out their creativity in developing these. Um, so again, it's meant to offer opportunities to develop experience on issues relating to mental health, working on a team with shared passions 
And it's really an opportunity to connect with others in a positive, fun, and uh, flexible setting. So if you're interested, feel free to send me a Mio, um, and uh, I look forward to working with you um, this semester. Thank you. Thank you very much, Deborah. And now uh, we will have a few people come on to talk about health and wellness, either Lorena Naiden or Buni Tai, sorry. And uh, the floor is yours. Lorena, you want to take the floor? Yeah, sure. Can you hear me? I think it's you put your volume up a little? Uh, I'm not sure if I can do that, actually. It's OK. I'll just keep talking. OK, so hi, my name is Lorena. I am a second year student, and I am a member of the health and wellness uh, crew, as well as the health uh, mental health crew. Uh, so those two clubs basically sometimes work together uh, or not to create a uh, really fun and interactive activities uh, for the students um, so that they can um, um, basically reduce stress or uh, make them aware of uh, tips for their for taking care of their mental health or their physical health. Um, so Obviously, these activities are going to be um, a bit different considering we're uh, spending most of the semester online, but we will find some ways of um, making it interesting and finding ways to cheer people up. So if you're interested in joining, you can contact Boomi or Deborah for any of those two clubs. Thank you. Thanks, Lorena. Yeah, so you can meet me, Boomi. Uh, Boomi T, my name's on my profile. and or like Lorena said, uh, Deborah for mental health, but we're the student services committee. So we're separate from the clubs, which uh, is gonna be explained later on. Enjoy, bye. Thank you very much. Um, next up, we will have the Champagne Student Association, a few members from Champagne Student Association. We're gonna come on and say a few words. First off is Jesse Kurtz, la presidente of the CSA. Jesse, I leave the floor to you, I'll step yeah. back here. <laughs> So, uh, hi everyone, my name is Jessie. Um, I'm the president of the CSA. Um, so I would have obviously really liked to have met you all today at orientation. It's unfortunate that we didn't get to organize um, the event and see you guys in person. Um, but nonetheless, we are in the midst, of course, of planning other activities and events for this coming semester. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to, to let you guys know that the CSA is gonna be there for you throughout the entire semester, next semester as well. We're there to, to help you enjoy your time at Champlain, to help you feel like you're really a part of a bigger community. Um, but we're also there to represent your rights as students. So remember that and keep that in mind. And if you guys ever need anything, if you wanna reach out to us, whether it's academic related, if you guys wanna get involved, uh, feel free to do so. You can check out our social accounts um, on Instagram, mycsa.ca, our Facebook page, Champlain Student Association, or you can even send us a meal, uh, Champlain Student Association. If ever you guys need anything, we're there for you. Thank you very much, Madam President. Um, next off, we have Christian Taboda is going to come on. She's the VP of Clubs and Societies. Christian, the floor is yours. Thank you, Chris. Um, so, yeah, so basically the CSA, we organize and finance uh, different groups in, within the school that like share different interests or similar interests. And I have some of them with me on this call that will talk a little bit about themselves. So first of all, I want to start with uh, Model UN and uh, DECA. President of them is Catherine Jackson. Okay. Um, so hi, my name is Catherine, and I am both the president of DECA and Model UN. So I will start with Model UN. Some of you guys might have already heard of this club, whether it be in your high schools or if you have other older siblings or friends that are part of it. But basically, um, Model United Nations, and in particular Champlain College, MUN, is a club um, whose members are dedicated, dedicated to learning more about diplomacy, international relations, and important world issues in a fun and engaging environment. So this club will allow you to practice your debating skills, your persuasion skills, um, as well as your public speaking and leadership skills. Um, it's sure that the, due to the special circumstances stances surrounding COVID, sorry, um, that things will be a little bit different this year. However, we are still planning on hosting um, a beginner conference. So this conference would be in October and it'd be really interesting to get um, some, of you, some of you guys involved in it. 
Um, so for more information about Model United Nations, you can contact me, um, Catherine Jackson. I'll make sure to switch my name um, on Zoom. So my name is first um, a bit later, and there will also be a post on Omnivox um, in the next few days where you will be able to easily contact me. So that's it for MUN. And as for DECA, so DECA Champlain is a club for students interested in business and commerce, whether it be for a future career or for general interest. So this club will give you guys an outlet to test your knowledge on the business world and the opportunity to learn about a particular business field, whether that be marketing, finance, uh, management, entrepreneurship, hospitality, et cetera, um, through various competitive events. Again, with COVID, uh, we don't really know the situation of the competitive events that it will be intercollegiate. However, we are planning on hosting events within our group. So if you're, in if you're interested in attending workshops on building a strong resume, preparing for job interviews and networking, or if you're someone who wants to learn more about the various business fields I named before from guest speakers, um, so what it's like to work in finance, marketing, what it's like to be a consultant at top firms, um, again, I invite you to meal me, Catherine Jackson, and for both MUN and DECA, um, once we receive your meal, we will invite you to a Zoom information session so you guys can ask um, more questions and get more information. And then after that, you'll be able to um, decide whether you want to join or not. So that's it for me. My name is Catherine, and um, I represent both Model UN and DECA. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. So uh, we also have another club, which is called uh, Code, which is our dance club. And Julia, we'll talk about it. Okay, so hi everyone. My name is Julia. I'm Champlain. I'm Code's president. So Code is a dan is a club for people who like dancing. You don't really need to have experience. You can join whether you're already a dancer, you want to learn how to dance, or you just want to try something out. Uh, so because the semester is a little bit different because of COVID, there are so many things that we need to figure out. For example, like we might not have the studio, so we don't really know where people are going to be able to dance. But as of right now, what we have figured out is that we want to take the semester to really get to know the first years who join. So really get to like know them through workshops that we're going to be doing to make everyone feel comfortable and, you know, build friendships within the club. Uh, and also we're trying to film covers. So we're going to be doing covers of dances and we're, we're going to be posting them on um, Code's YouTube channel. So yeah, there's still a lot of information that needs to be, you know, talked about. But if you are interested in joining the club, feel free to mail me and ask me any questions. Thank you. Thank you. So then we have uh, a team that builds robots. So that's really cool. Uh, Julien Hakot Solonsky, we'll talk about it. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Julian Agostonowski. I am a second year student at Champlain uh, College, and I am the president of the Robotics Club. So the Robotics Club um, is a club that uh, that is full of uh, vibrant and dedicated and fun people who are always on the lookout for new members. While the primary of the focus, or the primary focus of the club is building the robot, there are, we are on the lookout for many different skills and talents. Uh, as the club is about much more than just robotics. We especially look out for creative and resourceful minds to join our ranks and to collab and collaborate on uh, coming up with a central theme, then expressing that theme through building and decorating a kiosk, a short video, and a website. So, the new, so new members would be joining uh, the team in designing, building, and testing a robot, uh, kiosk, and video, and website while learning and developing new and valuable skills, such as teamwork, and uh, you know, just really uh, developing communication skills, uh, teamwork skills. Uh, so the club shows off all our efforts annually at the Canadian Robotics Competition, where some 30 odd teams from uh, different schools spanning the country, the team coming from Vancouver, um, they all gather and celebrate the engineering spirits. So the club, uh, is very welcoming to uh, new uh, new students. So people who really don't have, who may not have that much experience, or who are who don't uh, have that much experience with robotics, we welcome them. We will teach them. Uh, new students uh, will especially new new members will especially uh, get to learn their way around around the robot by uh, dismantling the last year's robot and uh, helping build uh, the new one. 
So this year, the robots are going to be completely autonomous. So anyone who wants to learn how to code uh, is uh, very, very encouraged to join as we have a very, very skilled programmer who will be more than happy to teach his craft. Uh, we are full of dedicated and fun members and I hope uh, you come join us. Thank you. Thank you, Julien. Uh, so then we have uh, Dario who is gonna represent Green Team. Uh, okay, hi, I'm a vice president of Green Team. I'm a second year student. And uh, so this, um, uh, well, this year, our, uh, my club really wants to focus on more um, like uh, green life in Champlain. So we're planning of uh, making more spots where there's uh, plants and more greenery. So we can uh, give it like um, a feeling of like, uh, like peace in the, in the school. So let's say you're, you're, uh, you're stressed somewhere where you can go somewhere where there's like plants and like relax. Two, we wanted to have more of an online presence this year. Like we can't really be in person. So we want to create like challenges uh, through hashtags and um, create events that let's say you can participate and then you can post it on the Champlain website or on our social media that I did this for Green Club. And uh, two, one of our big projects that we can really do during the summer because of what happened we wanted to create a uh, rainwater collect uh, collecting system. So we wanted to collect rainwater, put it through a water filtrate, plants that could filtrate water and uh, add uh, maybe, and so we can have uh, viable water around Champlain. So we can be like, oh, this is from the green team, our filtration plants and, and other plants. And two, we wanted to refurbish the greenhouses, which we have to talk with someone from Concordia to refurbish, but that's in our plans. So yeah. That's uh, pretty much our, uh, the green team, what they want to do for uh, these semesters. Thank you. And then we have uh, another club, it's called Tabletop, and Sasha will talk about it. Uh, so hi, my name is uh, Sasha. I am the current president of Tabletop. I'm a third year. Um, Tabletop, really what it's about, it's not purely just the aspect of card games, uh, especially this semester. Uh, physical tabletop games are kind of hard to do because of COVID, um, but we are more transitioning towards online card games and also D&D sessions. Um, whether you're new to it or you're accustomed to D&D, doesn't matter, All like everyone's welcome. Um, same goes with almost any other card game. In fact, there's a game on Steam it's called Tabletop Simulator. It includes games like Uno, uh, Connect Four, etc. cetera. Um, it doesn't matter if you know the game or you don't. Uh, we accept everyone just to explain the rules. Um, and Tabletop as well, we, we're not just a club. We, we consider ourselves like a family. If you need help with homework, most of the time, there's someone there who can help you out. And because of that, we also have a very close partnership with gaming and anime uh, to the point that uh, once a semester, we, well, we hosted something called Trifecta, where we would stay overnight at school. Because of COVID, that's not exactly possible. Uh, so instead we are figuring things out and we're always open to ideas. Uh, so if you or you or you know someone who's interested in tabletop, this can include Cards Against Humanity, uh, Magic the Gathering, D&D, anything, uh, just send me a meal, uh, Sasha Arbor Smith, um, and uh, we'll be happy to have you on board. Thank you. So then we will talk about uh, Born This Way Society with Roxanne. Yes, hi, my name is Roxanne. I'm a second year at Champlain and this year I am secretary of the Born This Way Club. Um, Born This Way Society is an all-inclusive group of people here to support the LGBTQ plus community. And uh, our goal is to educate and support uh, every student here at Champlain, uh, whether you're questioning or in the closet or just an ally, we're here for you. Um, this semester, since we're going to be all online, um, you can rely on our Instagram page, Born This Way Society. We're going to do some Instagram quizzes, Q&As, and a bunch of uh, fun things to interact with you guys. Also, we're planning on doing some activities if the school permits it, uh, such as drive-ins or um, just some things that will be uh, soon talked about, but yeah. Um, don't hesitate to, to follow us on Instagram and uh, or to meow me, Roxanne Unu, um, H-O-U-N-N-O-U. I will be happy to guide you and um, yeah. Thank you. So now we will talk about the Photography and Cinematography Club with Tristan.
Hello, my name is Tristan Center Francis. I am a second year student at Champlain. I am in charge of the social media aspect of the photography and cinema club. Um, we've been mostly trying to stay active now on our Instagram page. Uh, I think it's Photo and Cinema Club, uh, Champlain Photo and Cinema Club. Uh, due to current reasons, we're going to try to interact more there. But for the semester, we have a few. We have a few activities planned that will mostly require a lot of involvement, not necessarily in person, mostly on your own part. It could be uh, just partaking in our weekly quizzes or um, maybe some uh, challenges that we'd set out for uh, amateurs of photography. But really, uh, uh, our club is mostly, if you want to also talk about TV shows, just chill in general. Um, I'll change my name uh, so you can see my full name if you want to meow me for more details. Thank you. So now we will talk uh, with David Poston, the president of Champlain Music Society. All right. Well, sorry for the technical difficulties right now. My camera, I'm having some issues, but uh, I'm uh, here to talk about Music Club. And um, well, our club is really just for anyone who's passionate about music and who loves music in general. You don't have to be a professional. You can be, have never touched an instrument in your life. That's fine. Um, this semester, we're kind of, you know, really working out the kinks, trying to figure out for events because normally it's centered around our music show at end of semester. But uh, this semester, that's probably not going to be able to happen live at the school. So we're trying to figure out an alternative for that. Uh, and we're also working a lot on creating a platform for anyone just who wants to share their music. We have a Discord server and a Facebook page, but we're trying to, you know, see what we can do with that. And uh, we also do a lot of work with an organization called Jam for Justice, who is, their main goal is supporting and helping out uh, local and upcoming artists or people who want to get into music but can't afford it and can be a lot of money to invest into, so they offer a lot of support for that. So that's mainly the kind of stuff that we promote in our clubs, and uh, we hope you join us. And if you have any questions about the club, you can contact me, David Poston. Thank you. So those are only some of the clubs that we have in the school. I've made a whole video that is posted on the Champlain College YouTube channel. Um, so I would definitely suggest you to check that out and also Mio, any of the executives that are present right now in this call. I would like to thank you all personally. Um, we also have a different group that is not a club in the school, but is fun nonetheless. It's uh, the TEDx group that is represented by Vivian Lee. Hi, uh, so I'm Vivian. I'm the lead organizer of TEDx and I'm also part of FLIP. Um, like Swang said, TEDx is affiliated, was affiliated with, uh, well, grew out of FLIP, and then it became a known, like, organization where it's student-led, and we hosted an event, an actual TEDx event, where we hosted speakers coming from a um, few outside of Quebec and teachers from McGill, UDM, and University of Sherbrooke that came to speak about their experiences, um, Nonetheless, TEDx is independently organized outside of TED, which you guys might have known from the TED videos that you can see on YouTube. Um, like I said, it's independently organized. Um, it's organized by students. So we had uh, curators who would invite speakers all around the world, send letters to them. We had sponsors, like a sponsorship team where Students will help find sponsors, but since this year we're online, I have we have decided that TEDx uh, organization would be mostly a safe place for students that like to talk about, uh, share their videos about TEDx, um, share their love about talking about new discussions, science. We we go from a variety of topics like science, art, music. Um, I would say like etc. Uh, also, it's we have decided like it it will be a public uh, a place for students that like to 
do some public speaking. So if you would like to refine your, your skills on public speaking, then it is an event for you. You can talk about your experiences and it will be hosted. If we have school next semester, it will be, uh, you can perform in front of um, the school or we will do it online. Um, and yeah, if you're interested, you can visit our, in our um, event on our website online, TEDx, no, uh, yeah, TEDx Champlain College Saint Lambert com. Thank you. Thank you, Vivian. Uh, I have one last club that would like to introduce themselves. I'm so sorry. Uh, it is uh, Tristan talking for Gaming Club. Uh, thank you for that, Chris. Um, so right now with me, I have actually another person who was uh, representing Gaming Club. His name is Munir. Uh, Hello. Was like I said, there you go. Um, so as Chris has mentioned, my name is Tristan Aflar, but most people call me Trim. And we are representing Gaming Club. So Munir, why don't you go ahead and tell us what we are about a bit? Um, so what we are, um, we provide space um, for people who enjoy any kind of video game um, or geek culture in general. Um, uh, the people there are people who uh, want to take a break um, during uh, class, uh, after classes, sorry, um, when they're at school and uh, we play. Uh, we have some events. So. Um, uh, we have some charity smash tournaments and usually at Trifecta we do uh, some tournaments, but like Sasha said earlier, we don't know what we're going to do uh, for the time being and um, uh, back to Tristan. Yeah, so essentially just in general, if you feel like as if you want to, if you like gaming in general and just want to explore your hobby, meet some new people and all that there, absolutely just uh, come on in whenever we can come back in anyway. But in the meantime, uh, we actually have a Discord that's pretty active. And if you need any more questions regarding our club, especially with regards to events or anything like that, you want to suggest an event online, especially, that would be greatly helpful. Uh, we will go ahead and suggest you to message Santiago Restrepo. He's the president and he will fill you in and possibly give you an invite for the Discord uh, as well. So I thank can you put the time. link for the Discord in the chat. Um, you can't. Here we go. Christian, did you have anything else to say? I'm good. Uh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you all to all the club execs, and I hope you will all be reaching out to them. Back to you, Christopher. Thank you very much, Christian. All right. So, Chris, uh, yeah. could I add something? Yeah. Like for TEDx, if you guys are interested, we are hosting a Zoom. Uh, we will be hosting a Zoom call if you guys message me on Messenger. Uh, you can add me as Vivian Lee with double E's, and I will gladly add you to the Zoom call whenever it is decided. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vivian. So guys, the clubs are a great way to find a community at Champlain. You really do find a family in a way and it makes your experience here so much better. Now, we have a bit of time left. We're not gonna keep you for very much longer. What we're gonna do right now is something called breakout rooms. Because we don't have the opportunity to meet in person as we would have liked and preferred, and because we know that everybody comes to Sejep expecting and wanting to make new friends and to meet new people. I mean, we know it's super hard, but we want to try to give you the best opportunity possible to do so. So we're going to put you out into breakout rooms of a few people. And they're going to be for five minutes. It just gives you a chance to introduce yourselves, get a feel for other people coming to Champagne, see your peers, get to know other people in your program possibly. I mean, it'll be a hit and miss, but hopefully you find people that you guys can connect with and you stay in contact with. We're doing our best here to get you guys those connections that you all really need. Um, so you're going to be put into breakout rooms in a few seconds. In case the conversation goes stale, we've prepared a few questions you can ask each other to get the conversation flowing. We really want the conversation flowing. I mean, hey, it sucked to be in a breakout room with eight other peers and you know nobody's talking and five minutes go by wasted. This is really a time to have fun, guys, and to do your best and just to, just to talk, you know, connect with people. So for example, Share your guys' names, your programs. Um, you guys can ask each 
to ask each other what encouraged you to choose Champaign College as your stage set. It's a great college, by the way. Um, also, what, ac what, ac what activities or areas of interest do you want to participate in during your studies? So extracurriculars, clubs, uh, sports, all that stuff. And what are some of your questions or concerns about this upcoming semester? This is an important one because after the breakout rooms, you guys are going to have a chance to ask your questions and have our lovely president and other members of the SEJA and this person here answer your questions. <laughs> and so it's your time to shine, it's your time to be informed, it's your time to really let flow all the insecurities you have this coming semester. We know it's chore, but you guys can do it. And so I think we are now going to head out into some breakout rooms. Good luck, guys. Connect with people. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. All right, guys, it looks like we're back or we're going to be back in a bit. We might have lost a few people, but for those who stuck on, we appreciate it very much. Um, yeah, so that was a breakout. Hopefully you made some lifelong friends in the five minutes that we gave you. We know it's not ideal. We're doing our best, guys. But thank you all for attending. And it's nearly done, but we now have a Q&A session that uh, we are going to do. So hopefully you guys can type out your questions in the chat bar and then we will answer your questions without further ado. Um, or if you guys want, you can just unmute yourselves and just ask us questions directly. Yeah. You might be able to raise your hand on the, uh, on the, uh, if you have to raise your hand, are you able to raise your hand? There you are, okay, perfect. Like that, raise your hand. That's it. So I believe Dave oh. is going to be asking us some questions. Nice. Okay, yeah, we have a question already, so I'll unmute the person. All right, yeah, my question was, uh, well, I, I had uh, the explanation for the flip group, but if I wanted to really get involved in the CSA, I understand that you can't do that first year, but would you recommend going uh, more as an assistant or more joining the flip group? Yeah, for sure. Um, so Emily, I don't know if you want to take the floor hey. and explain it. Um, even if you're a first year, you can still get really involved in the CSA. Um, actually, right now we have we put out the um, student assistant form on the Omnibus, so you just have to look in the search bar and write student assistant application. Okay. You just have to fill out the document, and then you can send it to my email or the CSA Mio account, and we'll have interviews and everything just so you can get really involved in the the CSA. It's really fun, actually, and even if, even if the semester is online we still do need assistance to help us and help us with stuff. All right, so I look up, uh, what exactly, sorry? 
Um, I can talking. write it in the chat, I think. Okay. Uh, I don't know. So basically, yeah. if you go to your um, on your Omnibox, there are different communities that you can click on. There's one section that's CSA. And when you go on that, uh, you will see all the documents that CSA puts up and it would be there. All right, thank you. All right, so we have another question from uh, Sergio. So I'll unmute you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I was wondering if Champagne had anything like a, like a, a music auditorium thing because I come from uh, Saint Edmond, which is a music uh, high school. Okay, best high school, twenty twenty. Um, we have like uh, like uh, like rooms, separate rooms, sound isolated to practice music. I was wondering if it was something like that in a Champlain or like somewhere where I can practice because I have classes and I don't know why they have like two hours between each other. So mm -hmm. I, I thought I could you know use that time to practice. Is there a, is there like a like a place where I can do that? Yeah, I mean because everything is online, um, you won't have access yeah next semester. Anything. Yeah, uh, you won't have, a, yeah, so next semester, um, well, as uh, as was mentioned, Hopefully. it's a Champlain Music Society, so uh, they practice a lot, um, so I don't know if the representative from the Champlain Music Society wanted to take the floor and explain that a little bit. I see you, idiot. I think David, yeah, David left, so he's not longer oh. with us. Um, but I'm pretty sure we do have a sound room um, up in the second floor where they do practice or like uh, record some of their stuff. And I don't know, I, that, I think that's mostly something to be with the school to see like the, the rooms. Okay. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, <laughs> sorry. For yep. that. Thank you. Thank you. So if you guys have any other questions, you can just like shoot them, raise your hand. Yeah. Other I believe that chat box. Yeah. yeah there's a, a student named Wadzi who has a he has his hand up oh. physically. So go ahead, Wadzi. Sorry. All right. Okay. Uh, so my question is kind of well, I'm confused about it. But uh, are the library gonna be open? Like, can we do we have access to to the library this uh, semester, or is it gonna be closed down for the whole uh, semester? Uh, I can I can answer that question. Right now, um, for for sanitary and public health reasons, the the study space is actually not open at the moment uh, until we get further instructions. However, if you need books from our library collection, if you go to the library website, uh, there is a procedure there in order to place a hold on the book. Uh, we will get the book for you. Uh, quarantine it, um, package it up, and then send you a meal message at, with the instructions as to how to come to the library uh, to pick it up. And the books will be available for two week period. As soon as we get indication that we can open up the study spaces a little bit um, further, um, all while uh, ensuring uh, physical distancing and all that, uh, we will be able to do that. But right now, for at the moment, the study space is not available. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we're not here for to help. Uh, my staff is at home, mostly um, ready and just a chat box away and our email or a meal message away um, to help you navigate through everything that you need to do uh, to do your research and things like that and, and access the electronic collection of ebooks and articles and streaming videos and all of that. But as soon as we can open the space, I'm more than, you know, we're just itching, but right at the moment, I can't do that. Um, but we're doing the best we can to, um, you know, the place is really empty with you guys not here, let's put it that way. I look forward to it opening the door. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, um, so we have a couple more questions. So I'm gonna unmute the people as well. Thank you. Mine is just a short question, but um, can the gaming club put their Discord link in the chat? Thank you. That's all. Perfect. I think there's a question. I'm sorry, about. sorry. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Anybody who has chats or, or links, maybe send them to uh, the CSA and they can all put them together for everybody that we, everybody can get them sent out. Yeah, definitely. For sure. 
Um, there was another question from uh, William. You had your hand raised. Yep. Um, so I had a look in Omnivox for the Flip T guide inside the CSA community zone. Um, I still couldn't find uh, how to register for the Flip T guide. Yeah. Is there uh, another? Uh, I don't. Go ahead. Yeah, so yeah. Go ahead. So uh, we had the first. So we had two sign up waves. The first sign up wave was to really help out people with schedule modification. Uh, the second wave is going to come up. Um, today or tomorrow, uh, you won't find the form actually on the CSA um, uh, community page. It's going to be on your menu, sir, like uh, if you, it's only available on your computer and it's under uh, the label that's called online forms and uh, you'll see it as, well, there's going to be more details about it in the meal that will be sent out soon. All right, thanks. Yeah. I'll have a look at it. Um, we don't have very many, we don't have much time for questions, but we'll take a few more, so. Um, yeah, so someone had also asked, I think it was Aya, how's, how do you balance being involved in activities and academics? So to answer that, I would definitely say um, to always put your academics first. Um, so you are in CJEP, your goal is to learn, to, um, to, to take classes that you like taking, and really just to enjoy your time. So make sure that you prioritize academics. But it's also really important to have a balance between uh, academics and other things and extracurriculars. And that's why it's really amazing here at Champlain that we have these clubs and societies that allow you in a sense to like kind of escape the academic side for a while and to get involved um, and to meet people who, uh, who share the same values slash interests as you. So that's definitely super interesting, but always prioritize your academics first, I would say. Um, another person asked how labs will be working for this semester. Um, I believe right now it is at the discretion of your teacher, but um, for me at least my labs will be taking place online, uh, but your teachers will send you their course outlines in due time because we are starting school tomorrow. And in the course outline it's always explained um, how labs and uh, class will work in general. If I may, I also want to just, uh, oh sorry, go ahead. Yeah, just to clarify for the, the, the learning this semester is online, including your labs. The one exception is students that are in nursing. Uh, nursing built into their schedule will have two or three instances for most of their courses where they will be coming to the college. It has been set up, protocol is in place, and their teachers will be explaining it to them. For other students, if there is an instance where your teacher will be meeting with you, it will be meeting with you live, that is, it will be explained to you as the semester goes on, but everything, including your labs, will be online. Um, so I just want to quickly add something as well uh, from the previous question of academics and uh, activities. Um, the clubs, um, this semester kind of doesn't apply because we're online, but the clubs are not a place to avoid a class. Um, the clubs can and will kick you out, or depending on this, if it's multiple it varies from club to club. Uh, they might have different rules about it. Um, but if, let's say, next semester it is happening uh, back in school, you can't just stay in a club to avoid a class. Uh, if the execs catch you, it's up to their discretion and the club rules about what happens. So just keep that in mind as well. All right. Thank you guys all for your amazing questions. Sorry, we don't have time to answer every single one of them. Uh, we got to sort of get this on a wrap. You all have things to do. We have things to do. But I want to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, it was a pleasure to see all your faces. I really hope, we really hope that we can see all your faces in the corridors of Champagne sometime soon. We know that might not, that might take a while, but we got to hope for the best. Again, we apologize for today. It was a last minute decision for our safety. It's sad, but it happened. Uh, we will always get chances, though, to reconnect as a community, to regather, such as Cinema Park Night. Don't forget, guys, come to the Cinema Park on Thursday night. It's absolutely free. We're watching Harry Potter and Wonder Woman. It's going to be a great time, I hope. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rain, but if it does rain, who cares? We can get wet. <laughs> um, also, <laughs> get involved in school, guys. It'll make your academic life much more enjoyable. Again, this semester, it might be tough, but you have to take what you get. You have to give what you want, I suppose. <laughs> Something like that. I hope it makes sense. Um, yeah, so 
And also, do not hesitate to reach out. We are here for you as a community. CSA is here for you. Student services is here for you. If ever you guys have a question, you can mail CSA, you can email our accounts, or you can ask student, you can mail student services. They are always there and willing to answer your questions. The Ritter Support Group, whenever you guys need help throughout the semester, you guys will get it. I promise you that Champagne is here to take care for you. And guys, it's not the semester we had hoped for, but we're gonna make the best out of it, I promise. And I know it sounds cheesy, but guys, don't forget that you aren't alone in this semester. Sometimes I guess it's, it's very hard to feel alone and isolated with your classes online, but just know that everyone's in the same boat and we're all trying to navigate through this, um, but that we are making it together. Uh, we're getting through this as a community, so don't forget that, it's super important. And with that, I think we're gonna let you guys go. Thank you all for joining, it means a lot. You guys are beautiful people, beautiful faces. Come to Champagne, guys. You're beautiful. Ooh. You're all beautiful, man. Yay.